Okay, okay, okay. It's your boy Brandon Chung, and I'm back at it again, man. I'm back at it yet again. So I haven't done one of these in uh, like forever. Honestly, it's been it's been too long. I'm gonna show what I just bought and sold because I want to be transparent, right? Anyway, disclaimer: just uh, what I buy is not what you have to buy. This is just what I'm buying based off the grace of God and what I've been led to buy and everything of that nature. And uh, just do your own research, have your own advice. That's my disclaimer. I'm not a professional advisor. I don't even look like one. Anyway, the first pickup I got is Andre Silva. It, it, it don't matter about this player, but Andre Silva is an upcoming uh, Portuguese player. There's another player called Pedro Neto. He's a very hot rising young player, but when I looked at his highlights and stuff like that, he was a great dribbler, fantastic dribbler, but he wasn't effective and clinical, not not as much as Andre Silva. So that's why I got him. So I said, $2 for something like this is an interesting piece. You know me, I got to get Youngman some man. South Korean player. I think this is a 2012, it's Hamburg, 2013, Bayern Leverkusen. But there's more than one in here. So anyway, I think this is like 12 bucks. But they're shipping though. Hold on, there's they're shipping though. And then I got a bunch of these Leroy Sane's. I've been liking match attacks, man. Um, I've seen value for other stuff match attacks. And as far as Antu Fati goes, as far as Mbappe and Holland, all of them, I say so why not Leroy Sane too? He's a pretty good, relatively young player for the German team. We'll see what happens. You know, I mean, it's a chill $50 purchase. My boy, Kamara Uzman. This is a hey, look. And I'll, I'll match him up with the other one, too. So I got one Octagon Honor of Honor, whatever. And I got this uh, Topps Chrome. I think these were 12 apiece, which is really solid for some decent conditions of these. Kamara Uzman just beat Masvidal. And I bought these before the fight. The thing about UFC is they don't have any slabs. Like... They're, get, they're getting some, but it's getting better. But still, like, look it up on, on eBay. Like, you, it's so hard to find sl slabs of UFC in general. It's very hard. Asvidal, I got green. And I'll pair him up with the black and white. These cards don't look good at all no, no more because so this was three and this was five, I think. Which it doesn't make sense. Wait, hold on. Yeah, no, that's right. I don't know how that makes sense, but I, I got this for cheaper. I don't know. That's just how the world works sometimes. Then Robert Whitaker. This guy's been going up lately in price. He's been doing pretty good. Out of 75, museum. Yeah, six bucks for Robert Whitaker. So all together with shipping though, all of this stuff was like 40, I'm looking at the thing, $46. If I'm getting raw, I try, I try to get at least a refractor or a numbered or something. Um, because everybody loves slabs nowadays. It's ridiculous. John Jones, $5. 2010 second year not much to say because these top gold they have a thicker card stock than the regular one sometimes i feel like these are floor prices for stuff like this then i went to the dallas card show though recently and i picked up one thing my boy i went i went through about 25 tables in a couple minutes i said no 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 it was basketball baseball basketball something basketball football i said no 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 and there was one dude, tennis table. That's all I saw. No, not really any soccer, not really any UFC. I saw this, that's it. But then I picked up another one and another, <laughs> then another one and another one. And a, yeah, I got a couple of these. <laughs> so this is the RF1. I think it's one of his main rookies. Beautiful pose. Sideline, net pro elite. But then I got the red shirt too. So yeah, I got, I got a couple of them. I got a couple of them. I got a couple of them. I said, you know what? Oh, these cards are clean. Oh, Roger Federer, he's the go. Okay, Wimbledon, Olympics coming up. I'll pick up the whole stack. I let these bad boys. Pew, pew, Five hundred dollars. I felt like that. Now it sounds like a lot, a lot of money for just a bunch of crap. It is a Federer, the goat of tennis, rookie. I really don't see on eBay stuff like this being as clean of a condition because my thing is, I can grade it, but it's gonna take a year. God will will whatever will happen. So I just trust the Lord and I really am not sure what's going to happen in a year because I know these vaccine passports are coming and uh, I'm not going to get one, right? So it's going to be very tough for me moving on. Plus, I got a Nadal 2003. It's where he kind of looks angry with the tennis racket. I don't know what you call that. It's a vertical card. Brandon Shaw. 
is investing in Hulk Hogan. I thought I'd never see the day. The, the slab for SGC costs $40. So the fact that this is $20, I said, let me pick it up. I like him because he's a Christian man. That's that's literally it. Anyway, this is a, like the iconic, I guess you can call it iconic Hulk Hogan. But his but his yellow background is more popular. A PSA 6 for $100. I, pay, I overpaid a little bit. It's hard to get um high grades eight and nines of these older cards they come in bad condition and plus psa is going to grade harder in the future right my boy my boy sack wolves shout out to him if he watches this i don't know but this is what uh, i picked up from him lucas hernandez out of 25 brilliant car brilliant player i really like this guy out of 25 but i figured out that this is very like not centered correctly so i gotta let it go because next up is jahal felix this guy is one of the more skilled young players out of all the young players i uh, uh, jahal felix is up there out of 149 metallurgy 30 dollars right it's an okay deal oh yeah by the way 40 dollars okay it's okay it goes around 30. i figured a numbered piece for a gold standard it's kind of nice versus his rookie stuff going for top dollar Serge Gnabry, um, it's another out of 129. I like this gold standard. Figured, you know, $7 for Serge Gnabry. One of my favorite players. It's hard to beat something like this. It's J Jaden Sancho. It's out of a 129 gold standard. The, the, in this market, Phil Foden's going for ridiculous price, right? Not ridiculous, but very high. Holland, very high. Pape, very high. All these players going, young players, very high pl prices. I said $12, I mean, I, I have to take it up. Another one of my favorite players, Joshua Keymatch, Obsidian. 15 bucks for an out of 50. I said, you know, another Euro World Cup type of investing, right? I, I need to do this better, but you got to finan finance well. If you can't afford all this stuff, don't feel obligated to pick up this stuff if you don't have the right bank account for it. Because best believe, stimulus checks won't last forever, right? Each time the stimulus check is going to be less and less. So don't rely on the government to be paying for your sports cards. Don't be relying on all that, right? Don't use all your real life money on the sports cards. Enough of that little, little speech. Ashraf Hakimi, I like this guy. He is a rapid man. He doesn't play for one of these amazing countries. But probably not World Cup dude, but when he plays for that Inter uh, Milan, and I'm glad they're not doing that Super League. That's the most communist thing I've, I've, I've ever heard of in my life. That Super League. So since they're not doing the Super League, teams like Dortmund, teams like Inter Milan, teams like RB Leipzig, teams like Leicester City can still have a chance at being amazing clubs and still be very popular in the soccer card world. So I'm glad that whole communist Super League Chinese deal is not happening. I paid 25 probably, right? But I paid for the card though. But ain't, ain't nobody gonna PSA this, that's a thing. So it's continuously gonna have a low pop. Donnarumma, I think he's nice as well. Numbered Donnarumma, it's off-centered though. It, it is pretty off-centered, but it's sharp though. It's clean. Yeah, these are a little more difficult to sell, but I do believe in these players, right? That they'll do something maybe in the next even couple months. La last but not least is Leroy Sané. So this already gets extra value because of that right there. That debuts, boom, value goes up. It's like a rookie, Don Russ rookie. So it's a sharp card. It's another 9.5. I think this is Sané. I think this is a great deal. 60 bucks. I think that's a nice deal. And I really like the Bayern players like Leroy Sané. They got a serious team for Germany. They got a serious team. So we'll see what happens. And he gave me two extra packs. So thank you so much, bro. I appreciate you, man. God bless you, bro. Thank you, bro. But anyway, let me know how you liked the video. Let me know what you think. It's been your boy, Brandon Chong. Um, thank you for watching.